The weekend is just about here and there's never been a better time to catch up on your favorite classic NBC shows with the help of Netflix. Here to talk about that and update us what's new this month is one of America's most recognized and trusted television personalities, award-winning journalist and best-selling author Joan London. Hey Joan, good morning to you. Good morning, Kyle. Well, well got to start off here. What are some of the big name stars who got their start here on NBC? Uh, can our viewers watch on Netflix now? All right, I'd have to pick Ted Danson, right? I mean, he started on Cheers. That's where he really got his big break. And by the way, all the episodes of Cheers are on Netflix. And now he's on The Good Place. Now he has another big NBC hit. And the second season of The Good Place also is coming to Netflix in the month of August. Oh, that's spectacular. What new shows and movies are coming to this month? We know there's a lot of mo new movies every month. All right, I, there's a movie I love, and it's got a crazy name, okay? So here goes. It's called The, um, the Guernsey Literary and Potato <laughs> Peel Pie Society. That's quite now, the name. This, is a, this was a fabulous, fabulous book. I read the book. and It was on bestseller lists everywhere. But they made it into a movie, and you know, so often when they take a fabulous book and they make it into a movie, the movie's kind of, eh, not the case with this one. This one is, it's almost better than the book, which is astounding to say, but you would love this movie. Really beautifully done. Takes place in England during World War II. Wow. Um, the, other thing, the other thing that uh, that's really so great about Netflix is that they have all these documentaries and docu-series, and they've got one on, I love these things, it's called Inside the Criminal Mind, and it's about all the characteristics of really the most evil criminals. But, you know, they follow all these things so that they can make these profiles which help them hunt down current criminals. Now, if that's a little too dark for you, I have something totally the opposite. It's called Stay Here. And kind of like HGTV, there's, they take these houses and apartments of just you know, regular, ordinary people that want to rent their place out, and they turn them into these incredible showstoppers. It's one of those shows that you can just kind of kick back and binge on a weekend, because it's kind of fun to see other people's really cool houses. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff coming, it looks like. So which stars have uh, new shows yeah. and movies coming up on Netflix this month? I would definitely pick... Um, Kelsey Grammer and Kristen Bell. They're in a movie called Like Father. It's a really, really cute movie. I loved it. I was totally into it. He's like the estranged father. I don't want to say too much and give it away, but he plays it spot on, and these two are great. Um, now, that's a Netflix original movie, but there are some classics also coming, a really good batch of classics, Steel Magnolias. I don't know if you ever saw it when it first came out, but it's worth watching again. Julia Roberts, it's Sally Field, Dolly Parton. I mean, all these superstars and some of the best one-liners ever in a movie. I'm going to watch it again just to refresh myself of those one-liners. And also, No Country for Old Men. This is another movie that's just absolutely packed with big stars. Josh Brolin, Woody Harrelson. Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem. Um, and, you know, some of these movies are just those kind of movies that if you saw them back when they started, they're great to see again. And th something, oh, Million Dollar Baby. <laughs> I can't forget Million Dollar Baby with Hilary Swank and what, Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman. And what I love about this movie, besides the fact that Hilary Swank just gave one of the most incredible ever performances, is I can watch it with the kids and, you know, the 13 year olds and the 15-year-olds will like it as well as we will like it. So it's a lot of good choices, and it's so easy. If people are listening to this saying, what am I, how am I missing all this? All they have to do is go to Netflix.com, put in their email and their zip code, and sign up with a credit card. It's one of the best values in entertainment going today. Absolutely, John. I agree with you. What's your favorite part about Netflix? You know what it is, is that <clears throat> as you watch things, because sometimes there's so much to watch that you think, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to figure out what's good? But as you watch things that you know you'll like, 
the algorithms kind of build your viewer profile and it learns what you like. So it starts recommending other things. And I have found shows that I love that I never would have clicked on. I never would have known that I liked them. Um, and of course, we got a smart TV in our house recently. That makes it even easier. There's a Netflix button right there. Um, but there's just so much. And the other thing is that if I don't finish something and I'm like, oh my God, I wanted to watch the last seven minutes of that, I can be somewhere waiting like to get into a doctor's office or whatever. And on my phone, I can click Netflix and you, it says, you were watching, want to resume? You hit it, and it's like literally right where you left it. It does not like, get any they easier just make than it that. All... <laughs> it does not get any easier than that. Wonderful. Jane London, thanks so much for joining us from New York this morning. If you want to rewatch our interview or get any more information, we'll be sure to post it on our website, kobi5.com. Stay with us. We're back in just a few minutes.